Do you want to know how to integrate DocuSign with JotForm? Well, let me show you how on this video. Welcome to JotForm. My name is George, and I'm going to show you how to integrate DocuSign with JotForm. Now, be aware that JotForm does have its own signature system, so you don't have to use an external service. But if you still wish to use DocuSign, you can integrate it. So let me show you how. Let's go ahead and start over with a new form. Let's start from scratch, classic form, and this is going to open up the job form builder. So let's go ahead and add a few elements for testing purposes, full name, long text, and the email. All right. Now let's integrate with DocuSign. Let's go into widgets, search for DocuSign. Here it is. Let's go ahead and drag it in here and we're going to put it all the way in the end. And the first thing you need to do is obviously authenticate with DocuSign. So in this case, I already have DocuSign. I am logged in. So that means that if I authenticate, it's not going to ask me to log in again. So here we go. I just clicked on it and automatically it's verified. So it's a really easy way to integrate with DocuSign. Now let's give this document a title. So that means that when this is filled out, it's going to use this uh, title all the time. So I'm going to say signature. I'm just going to keep it really simple for this. All right. And then the opening type model will pop up. I'm going to keep it model. So it stays inside of here. It doesn't make a pop up. But it's up to you if you want to use the pop up, which I'll show you in a bit. All right. The auto submit form. Let's hit yes. PDF template. Yes. Let's go ahead and update the widget. Here we go. And you have properties if you need to change something here. OK, so it's really important that you understand the DocuSign widget will be tied to these elements that you add in the form. So add your elements that you're going to need for the questions and what you need, what they need to approve and the DocuSign widget. If you add more elements, it is recommended that you update the widget. All right. So let's go into preview form. Let's add my information here. So George Aguilar, I'll just say test and the email, right? And I'll add my name again. This is DocuSign widget and my email again. Let's sign with DocuSign, okay? So you can see it's generating the document where we're going to sign it. So DocuSign is doing its work. And here we go. It's preparing the e-signing system. Okay, let's agree to this. Let's continue. You can see the elements that are tied with our job form. You can see the name, the type of question where I typed in test and the email. Let's go ahead and sign. And we have the sign style as the text. We can draw for the signature or we can upload a file with the signature. OK, so let's use this one Go ahead and sign it. Let's go ahead and finish. And automatically, this is going to be added to our DocuSign system. It's also going to send an email with the proof, with the PDF and all that stuff. Right. So let's head on out of here. Preview. Let's go into DocuSign. Let's go ahead and refresh. Remember, our document is named signature. So let's go down here and you can see signature. So let's go ahead and open this up and we have the document right here. Let me go ahead and open it up. Here it is. Details and the signature here with the data it was signed and a ID. All right. Now, there's several options available here, like, for example, we can forward this. We can copy it. We can save it as a template to use it later on. View the history of what's going on with this uh, particular signature. We can go ahead and transfer the ownership, export CSV and delete it if we don't need it anymore. So it's a really useful way to connect JotForm with the DocuSign. All right. So be aware again, if you want to use signature from JotForm, we can go ahead and remove this add signature here and enable sign automation. All right. And we have all the features available, the timestamps and all the advanced features for PDFs, generation, sign and everything available here. So it's up to you if you want to use an external service like DocuSign or use the inbuilt system that JotForm provides for you. And there you go. That is how you're going to integrate JotForm with DocuSign. Please let us know here in the comments what you think about this integration with JotForm and DocuSign and what you would like to see in the future. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.